In addition to changing the browser fill for your website, you can also change individual page attributes as well. And in this movie, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump into my master page. And inside of the master page, what I'm going to do is grab my selection tool. And I'm just going to make sure that I click somewhere on the page so that it knows that I don't have anything else selected. I'm just selecting the page. And what you can see up here is that I have a fill, a stroke, and I also have corner radius controls. And so what I'm able to do is apply all of that to the page itself. So for instance, let's say that I wanted to make the page a different color. Let's say I wanted the page to be, oh, uh, let's do something crazy. Let's go with neon green. And so we make the page neon green. By the way, don't ever do this to a real website, please. But what we're going to do now is we're also going to add a stroke to it. So we'll just do this and we'll increase the size of the stroke just a bit so you can see it. This is all just to prove exactly what you can do with this. And then what I'm going to do is increase the corner radius on the web page as well. And I could also add effects if I wanted to, like let's say a drop shadow to this. And so that's what each page is actually going to look like. If I go now and close this, you can see that that's going to populate to all of my pages. And I can now double click on those pages and I can start to add content to them. So for instance, if I wanted to grab my rectangle tool and start to draw out a rectangle here on this page, you can see that it's pretty easy for me to create an interesting look. And while I said while ago, you know, don't use the neon green, it actually doesn't look that bad if you put the big white rectangle in the middle of it. So it's actually kind of nice, almost looks like an iPad. But let's go back and change this back to normal. Let's close this out and go back to our master page. Anytime you want to make a change to it, you can come back and change it anytime you want. Just grab your selection tool, make sure nothing else is selected. And then in this case, what I'm going to do is tone down the stroke uh, to zero. And then we'll change the page fill back to something like white. Here we go. And we can even reduce the roundness of the corners. If you want to keep the rounded corners, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with rounded corners. I'm just going to take mine back down to zero just to reset everything. And then if you want to turn the effect off, all you have to do is click effects and unclick drop shadow. There you go. It returns it back to its normal self. So anytime you need to change the page attributes for every page in your document, this is how you would do that. You would do that through the master page. You can also do this, though, by going into the individual pages. So if I come in here to this page, I can actually come in and I can make changes to the individual page the same way. So I could come in here and change that to be red. And then let's get rid of this rectangle in the middle. And then I could also round the corners just on this specific page. And when I do that on the specific page, you'll see that it only populates to that one page. So you could do this on a page by page basis if you wanted to. But in any case, you do have full control over the appearance of your pages. And now hopefully you understand a little bit more about what that means and how to do it.